We are live. We're back again. Here in the Dale Not Dale Not Studio. Not Studio. Are we ever going to get to a point where we say, and we're back, and, we're, and we don't say that anymore? I don't know, man. We're, we're three in. Three in. Uh, so, I, I, mean, I, think, I mean, hopefully we'll have our own little crazy intro. I've got ideas. I think we like got ring a, girls, like in, in a UFC yeah. fight. Yeah. <laughs> we we got well. I mean, this this shows we know that it's kind of just evolving and like it's getting bigger uh, in our eyes. Yeah, I guess, and uh, we want this to keep getting bigger. So I think we got to just keep trying to change it up and rock with it. Give them the best product they can get. Absolutely, dude. Check out this lighting too. I mean, yeah. we got lighting now. Yeah, the media by Bison guys are hooking us up. They got. Uh, they, uh, it's pretty incredible. We got a heck of a production team. Yes. Uh, but hey, so this is going to be a fun episode. We have the uh, quintuplet mom. A lot of you may know her as Uncle Dale's sister-in-law. That's how I know her. Or, you know, she's Danielle Busby from Outdaughtered, mother of quintuplets, uh, which is quite a feat. So we're going to have her own. Should be a fun time. Me and Danielle have been friends for I think 22 years now we met i was senior in high school she was a junior i believe and so uh we got a lot of history together and uh vaughn's known her probably over the last what, year or so yeah about and he's hung out with her one night we went to the burt crasher uh comedy show so we've hung out he's been there whenever uh his wife ordered a family pack of chicken tenders and she got 36 of them <laughs> yeah 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 my wife ordered <laughs> Uh, went up to the the line. Where was that? Zaxby's. Zaxby's. First time I ever eaten at Zaxby's. By the way, not a bad spot. And uh, my wife ordered chicken tenders, and somehow they decided to give us the family pack, which was thirty six, and we had thirty six <laughs> chicken tenders. We didn't eat them all, but and then they took them in a brand new car that sat in there for four hours. <laughs> brand new car. I think that car had less than a hundred miles on it. Yeah, it was nice. Even the people behind us were like, "What's taking so long?" And then we realized that she ordered a family pack. Yeah, she's like, "Why well, didn't know why it was seventy bucks?" I'm like, "It's just two of y'all eating." Uh, it, it finally dawned on her when they gave her thirty six, not because it was seventy bucks, but think, because we got thirty six of them. I think her and Crystal are, are a good pair. Oh man, they are. They may share a brain. I swallowed my gum. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm waiting for Danielle to get here. She's gonna text me when she rolls up, and then we'll get her in and have some fun. But. uh Anything new happened this past week, man? Dude, uh, I started using uh, women's deodorant. Quite the feat. I mean, that's the highlight of my week, but it, it's, it's, it's nice. Why, why women's? So you know how like a men's deodorant, like you get white stains on your white shirt? Or yeah. not, I'm sorry, yellow stains? Yep. So I had to borrow Lindsay's deodorant. And then all the yellow stains just stop happening. So I've made the switch. So you're transitioning? As you're I'm saying? transitioning. Okay. And it is no secret, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much the highlight of my week. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, well, we had a good uh, response from fans on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Had a few, uh, had a couple new reviews five-star reviews on uh, apple Podcasts from the episode with cajun ninja mm -hmm. so that was pretty exciting uh it's been fun and then we should be having hopefully today uh or by the time this episode comes out we will have the cajun ninja episode on youtube and our youtube channel will be fully live uh as well as this episode with danielle released later in the week as well after the podcast drops so we're trying to get this cleaned up we're working with the media guys from bison and um it's just a lot of front end work they got to do to kind of get this built. Oh yeah. So, uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not rushing. They're the they're the experts, not us. But they'll get this up and running and put more out there for you guys. I like to watch visually on YouTube. A lot of people I know there's some people that watch most of our podcasts on YouTube. So that'll be neat. And then you can see our cool sponsors. I got my I got my nice uh, bison hat on. Yep. Bison hat, and then we got a sponsor, a new uh, episode sponsor for this week, helping out is our friends at uh, Teja Surf. So uh, they're a clothing line that uh, online. You know, check them out. Guy, buddy of mine, uh, coached his son in baseball. He's got this company. He's a West Coast guy. Lives in Texas now, and he's in a lot of surf shops and uh, stores all along the, like the, the Gulf down here in Texas. 
And uh, so these guys were helped out and gave us a bunch of merch. And so, like I said, I'm I'm gonna look like a NASCAR driver for it's all over with. Dude, like, you are. I'll wear it all. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. No, I'm a uh, I'm a consumer, so I like to share what I'm wearing, like on social media, mm-hmm. with everybody, just because if there's somebody I like and follow, I want to know what they're wearing, so I do that. Plus, when it's free stuff, I'm just gonna I'm gonna promote it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm a big fan of free. This is Vaughn's first uh, taste of getting some free merch. Oh, the Teja Surf guys hooked him up. Thank you, Teja Surf. <laughs> the first time you never forget. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, we're excited. So we're excited. Uh, we're just getting more and more traction from the show. Hoping to get, uh, you know, continue getting cool guests on here. And it uh, doesn't get much cooler than Danielle Busby, quintuplet mom. So we're pumped to have her on. Vaughn's got some questions for. We got some good questions for her that are like, you know, stuff with stuff that she's probably used to getting asked or she's wrote about on her blog. Like you can go follow that it's buzzworld.com and follow her blog and kind of see everything how this all came about. Yeah. But uh I mean, I know all that stuff, so I want to know new stuff. Yeah, well, and none of this is pre-screened. Just putting that out no. there. And then we have a we have a content uh I guess you have, let's say a contest or a game show we're going to do with the, it's, with, the, with the sisters. Well, it's going to be a contest because the winner is going to get a lifetime subscription to our podcast. Yeah. So, as y'all might know, Kiki, my wife, uh, she's not the greatest speller, but her and her sisters aren't the best texters at all. Yeah, it's, it's mind blowing. Uh, so we're going to ask Danielle. We're going to ask her to spell a word, and then from there, without the other girls know I'm going to go to Crystal. I'm going to have her video. I'm going to video it of her. Say, hey, spell this word. We'll do the same thing to Ashley. And then uh, for the YouTube, it'll be fun. We'll, we'll have all three of them at one time, kind of like yeah. trying to spell a word that we have for them. Did you, did you let them know you were no. calling them? You haven't let them know you were calling them, though? No, I'm going to do Crystal at home where she can't look at her phone and cheat. Oh, okay. And You're then right. I'll get Nick Crop to do in. Ashley. Gotcha. To where, uh, yeah, I want it to be fully spontaneous for them. We have to make sure they don't talk in between that because you know uh, they're scandalous. I'll probably call Cheaters. Nick Pryor. Yeah, those swindlers. Uh, I'll probably call Nick Pryor. Maybe I'll, I'll have him do the one for Ashley while I'm doing uh, the video of Crystal. All right. So I'm thinking this could be funny. Uh, we had a whole episode on the TV show uh, where she couldn't spell pizzeria. <laughs> and then she misspelled the word surprise. I mean, they had a, it was, you know, she's one of a kind. I had people hit me up, ask me what they want more crystal stories. So there's they, plenty of them. They want to sure, they want to hear speaking cursive. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Danielle may <laughs> Danielle may have some funny ones that uh, she can say. We just got to make sure they're PG-13 for the show. You know, I got plenty of them that they're not they're not all safe for kids. Yeah. So uh, with but, that being said, please see our Patreon nine ninety nine a month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have talked about that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Anything else, man? Did I? I mean, no, not really. What about you? Man, I, I'm just trying to think. I had a busy week at work. We played golf Friday. We yeah, did. We played some golf. Fun was really stinking it up. I was. He wanted to quit. What four holes in? No, nah, that's not true. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I wanted to quit a, five holes in. Five holes, yeah. It's been a rough. It's been a rough few last round, last couple of rounds of golf for me. I think it's because my mind's elsewhere. You know, like not sleeping, thinking about podcasts, building studios in my garage. Yep. So our new studio, uh, Vaughn's been working on it. He actually did some electrical work. Yep. He was actually trying to be a badass. Pretty much, am a badass. Yep. He's been drinking bison energy drinks all the time, so he's a badass. But... I mean, in the last week, I've gotten calluses. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So he did electrical work, which I was surprised he knew how to do that. Uh, good on you, man. I know. But uh, we got a studio getting built out in his garage. Uh, that's going to be the home of the home of the show pretty soon. Like right now, we've been filming this and shooting this at uh, Vaughn's mother in law's house. Yeah, and uh, she's been super sweet, letting us do whatever. Uh, but we want our own spot, and we got some new stuff coming. We got we got Vito from uh, our buddy up north. Canada working on our ideas for merch. Mm-hmm. So hopefully he said early this week, I'll have some designs and we'll start doing that. 
put some stuff out. Uh, he seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Talking to him Friday. Yeah, man. He's sharp. Uh, his stuff, man. Yeah, I, I'll have to put up his link on uh, Instagram so y'all check him out, man. He's got some. He's got some cool stuff like that stuff I sent you day. He does for he does a lot of licensed stuff for NFL and NBA and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's sharp, man. So we've gotten some cool people to help us out with the show and uh, just make this better. I mean, like I said, I, we've been utilizing everybody we know for uh, for help. Uh, Brother Law Adam, he's been uh, doing the audio production for the show. Yeah, we got the buddies from Media by Bison doing the uh, visual. And uh, you know, post post for that, uh, and being the show's, uh, you know, presenting the show as the as the main sponsor, and uh, and then we're just trying to get more and more at it to where it just makes us better. We can always get better. I know. That's true, man. Well, good deal. I mean, I think we should bring in Danielle. Yeah, she should be here any minute. Let me see if she texts me. She texts me, and she is here. So awesome. we will take a quick break, and then we will be back with the Quint mom, Danielle Busby. And y'all aren't going to know it's a break. Rude! All right, we got Danielle Busby here. Quint mom. Come on in, Danielle. Quint mom. <laughs> that's right. That's who I am. Come on, Quint mom. Come have a seat. You close the door behind you. We don't, we don't have to stuff to get out. <laughs> Any boss? He's bossy. I feel like it's so. Uh... Uh, I was going to say Quint Mom, or most people know you as Uncle Dale's sister in law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they know Crystal's Uncle Dale's wife. Sorry, you have to hold your mind. I was going to say, Sir, tell me I have to hold this whole time. I'm sorry. Are you recording like a video? Yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. Oh, jeez. You got your headphones down there so you can hear. Good thing I put my jeans back on. What is. <laughs> this is. Make sure, make sure that's a. Yeah, that's yeah, your right you side. It. You, you got, got it. it. Left, left. Yep. Oh, now I can hear can you. Can you hear us? Yeah. All right. Can you hear me? Actually, we can't hear you, but we can hear you. Crystal would love this mic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, no. You got to talk, talk a little closer to it just to make sure. Can you hear me, Dell? We Not Dell. <laughs> it... Is it going to clip, though? Oh, no, it won't. It's fine. It's all good. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, this is impressive. Hey, we are podcasters, Daniel. We, we went all This out. is not what I expected <laughs> at all. All I'm thinking is, has Adam seen this? No, he hasn't. <laughs> it's a secret. What do you think he'd say? I had no idea. You have like lights. You have a... 360 over there is this y'all or him do we have a camera no, is, we, is, we have a full-blown so guy jason with media with bison is doing all this for us these guys are they're taking care of us this is yeah good job this is legit this is in your mother-in-law's yeah. Yeah. office yeah <laughs> and she's and she still buys all my clothes it's amazing i love it from abercrombie and fitch she does she gets me an xl and kids so it's half off <laughs> or no it was yeah. wieners <laughs> wieners yes wieners mervins wieners yeah anything I, I, I gotta take a photo in here because this Please is a, uh, you know of oh, just me just me there you go no no i know that's fine with a view <laughs> wait no i don't know how to do this yeah this way wait i'm like y'all i'm horrible at this. you got it yeah but now you're, you're cutting out i have now. yeah <laughs> How do you make it not blurry? Uh, Jeez. It's shaking. No, it's on portrait or something. Anyways, I'll figure it, it out. We can always we can always take a picture afterwards. This is lame. I got to hold this mic. I'm I'm really <laughs> sorry about that. Danielle. There you go. There it is. I was trying to capture this. I was really trying to capture this stuff for Adam. <laughs> look, look at all the gears and gadgets they have. Yeah. Okay, Jason. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this your first time doing a podcast, Danny? Um, in in person, person, yes. Oh yeah, because you've, you've I've done like over, over phone or Zoom or something. But the, is, this your, is this your favorite? Is this your favorite Saved podcast for y'all. so far? Absolutely. Yeah, better better be. Absolutely. Good. We're just making sure. I'm reading those cue cards back there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that, we got, one, that one made you five dollars. Like that was five dollars <laughs> to say absolutely on that one. We sat down yesterday and wrote down some questions for you. Oh jeez! I sent her a picture. She's like, "Just don't embarrass me." I'm like, "I won't embarrass you." But all I want to know is, did you bring the spaghetti and meatballs? I did. Okay, good. That's in the it's in the, it's in the fridge. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I was like, "Well, I don't want 
I, I was telling him, I said, you know, you got your blog. People know your backstory. So we don't want to talk about that. We want to talk about other stuff. Got it. I was like, we've known each other for 22 years, probably. Uh, which is Daniel's favorite number, by, by the way. Good number. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> mine's, like, we, mine's 11. We got a lot of Not Dell. Did you know that, Not Dell? I did not, but mine's 11, so it's like half. Okay. There you go. Good. It's amazing. <laughs> mine's 10. <laughs> now we got that out. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm glad we got that out. I wanted everybody to know our favorite numbers. And my favorite color is That's old. pretty much the first question on the day. <laughs> and my favorite color is orange. <laughs> oh, man. So. Am I supposed to like turn my phone off like I'm on the interview set? I mean, this is a this professional is, this thing. This is a professional okay. setting. Uh, okay, okay. Sound off. Sound off. This is a, yeah. Hold your mic. What would Adam say? He'd yeah. say just turn your phone off. Just make sure your mic's he close does. enough to your face. So you, it, yeah. Not on your mouth. There you no. go. <laughs> right in the old kisser. <laughs> uh so you're our first live person guest. Oh, nice. So we had the Cajun You didn't even week. give me the pre-warning that I knew you were going to get it filming, but you didn't warn me that you were going to film this. Ugh. I took a nap before this. I could have freshened up. You look fine. No, she looked <laughs> like she'd been napping. <laughs> Other than the pillow creases on both your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Vaughn, so Vaughn has some questions that I was like, they're funny. Uh, just we were just, we got a few things planned. We actually got a game later to play. Nice with you and your two sisters. Okay, that they're gonna we're gonna we're gonna video them off, and then once the YouTube comes out, it's gonna be on there. Okay, so they're not gonna know what's going on. Nice. So as long a, as I win, huh? as long as I, I win, mean, it's just <laughs> we don't know who's gonna win this one. I know who's gonna probably lose, and it's probably Crystal. So that's even, it's fun, Spell it's funny, pizzeria. It's, it's funny. It's funnier if she does lose. Oh, man. It makes more sense. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Last week I told the story about her with the Spanish rice, and I had oh, people gosh. hit me up. They're like, "Dude, we need more Kiki stories." I'm like, "Well, maybe Danielle has some." I, I got to just think of ones that are PG-13. Uh, yeah, they're rare. When you told Most me y'all were doing a podcast, I was like, mm. "Yeah." Well, we were gonna keep it clean. Like you know, we both have jobs. Yeah. Yeah. And we. We know that we don't want to be. I didn't know if you had jobs with all the sponsors. Bull. No, hey, I'm trying. I mean, we got Bison here. We got Teja Surf. I'll wear a Grayson B shirt if you want me to. There you go. My you should have told me to wear it today <laughs> on the recording of the first video. My underwear or Joe Boxer. <laughs> you can get those at Kmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a centerfold there. Well, I guess before we get into the fun stuff, Danielle just opened up uh, her first store. So we'll let her do a little plug in of. Grayson B. How's it going so far? Oh, it's good. I mean, it's fun uh, having a storefront. I've had the online for actually three years, just made three years like this week. And so storefront over here in League City has been open for about two months and it's been a transition, let's just say, with kids home, summer. Well, speaking of transition, he just transitioned to using women's deodorant last week. He told I did. Me. So. <laughs> like for real? I'm dead serious. <laughs> it's no secret anymore. <laughs> So no degree, just no. secret. Yeah. No, I'm not getting a third degree on this one. <laughs> yep, uh, that's yeah, funny. So the store's nice. We've been to it. We did the uh, the grand opening was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of people. It turned out. And then y'all, you let us crash your party when we did the uh, cover art for our. Uh, that's all I heard was brothers shooting. The girls were like, "Why are they in sweaters?" <laughs> Grayson B doesn't sell those sweaters. <laughs> you should start carrying a sweater vest, Danielle. <laughs> it's for the spring season. <laughs> they were so confused when y'all walked in. Uh, They're like, what are they doing here? Yeah, but I want to know if we could be uh, full time models at Grayson B. I was thinking if that would be only with he's, sweater vests. He's got a good, I mean, he's got a pedigree of. I will say, you Vaughn needed zero direction. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, sometimes it comes natural. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. Taking a picture, riding a bike. Same thing. I know Buzz texted me. He goes, dude, he told me, he's like, you got the worst skin tone I've ever worked with in pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. My face is like red and pale. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, I know. I was like, thanks, Buzz. I appreciate it. <laughs> and then Vaughn's was just all model perfect. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> he brought his own makeup team. <laughs> Jerk. Hey. <laughs> I was trying to make that's up, why you, you were know? late <laughs> yeah yeah oh absolutely uh i guess first question we want to ask was how do you how does it feel being inferior to the octomom <laughs> oh i can't believe i'm sitting here doing this <laughs> what <laughs> how 
How does that make you feel? I I mean, it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, you had three what? less. <laughs> it's it not this. If you're if you're doing like a kid off, and one has eight and one has five. Well, we know she did it on purpose, but still. Yeah. I mean, you're like not the whole woman. She could you could have been. You could have been way more. <laughs> could have had multiple sets of identical twins in the yes. the quince, yeah. not just one. Could have had ten. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, when it happened. Ten moms and counting. <laughs> the funny thing is, when we're out public and like people see us with all the kids, like they don't know, they'll like count them all. They're like, "Man, five of them," and I tell them that it's all from different dads. Yeah, that's the funny thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the best. People and then at Adam you. will go different moms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People, yeah. people say that people look at you crazy, and then also when we're out filming, people would come out like, "I tell them we're filming an episode of Cheaters." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cops or cheaters. Their, or... Their, their face was so I love that priceless. Show. That's hilarious. I love that <laughs> so show. It's bad. a great show. Yeah. I, you know, one of the questions I had, and this is actually is a serious question. Um, oh, but I bet. It, it is. I pro- <laughs> this and, I, is. And, and I promise we're not I, 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 Let's be honest. I was so nervous, like, coming in here to talk to y'all. And, like, because yeah, I have no idea <laughs> the, the range of, of questions are going to be. And that's how you started off. Well, the good news <laughs> is, is we can cut that out if we need to now nah, we're not going to cut that out no, <laughs> but we don't that's that's the worst one is the inferiorness to octomom the next one and this really is what's your and, favorite color no no, no dang it even better than that <laughs> so i know from having one child the process of naming a single child at one time so that it could take a month to name one child you know you you back and forth let's name them this let's name them that if it's a boy it's a girl blah 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 how does that go with five? It took five months because there's five. It took one month per like you did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I only uh, like once we had all the names, I was like, I can finally have the girls. Let's just have them today. <laughs> okay, okay. No, how did, honestly. How did you pick the name? I mean, I remember it's been so long ago. Honestly, um, you know, like when you you find out you're pregnant, you're like, oh, I like this boy name. I like this girl name, whatever, blah, blah. And when we found out we were having five and then it was all girls, it was like, what the heck? How many names? Like, what other name do you like? Does anybody have a, have a answer? You well, know, it's ten names, and that's have ten. Name. <laughs> and yeah. we wanted like family names, like involved in their you know middle name or their first name, and so everyone's name is connected with that. But and, and their name spells Oprah, or every first letter of their name. If they're in not birth order, yeah. Olivia, <laughs> Olivia Parker, Parker, Hazel, Ava. Who sits around? What? Olivia Parker. Right. Ava. Oh, Riley. Ava, Ava Hazel. Hazel. Who sits around to think of these things? Some, when she posted somebody, it, somebody, somebody online, somebody online said, did you do that? <laughs> did you name them because it spells Oprah? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. So when you're thinking of, when you're thinking of these names and, you know, everybody, ha- every couple has their, you know, you know, if you want to have a boy, well, we like Chris, we like Jack. And there's like a first and a second and a third favorite right. name. So the fifth child that was born, their name l- less favorite than the first child that was born? That's a good question. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm trying to make this work here. Actually, it didn't even work out that way. We picked names, and uh, the last name we actually decided on was Ava Lane. Okay. That, and she's the first Quint. She was the first one born. She was the first yeah. one born. So Ava and Olivia were the last two names that we picked, and they were the first two. So... Your question doesn't really go with my answer. That's a dumb question. I think about it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. I remember picking out Olivia's name. It was a lot. Olivia and Ava's were the last two. And I remember we were at the old house, our first house, and we were deciding names. And somehow Ava and Olivia came out. They were like the two vowel letter names. And was like, oh, because they're the identicals. That, that works. Um, but... Nick had said something about Marie because it's Ashley and Crystal. Yeah, yeah. And and so it was like Olivia and Marie. I was like, okay. And so then Ava was, Ava's kind of the, the, the one name that I don't really know where it came from. <laughs> like my niece's name. Ava, like Ava's name, Ava does not have a significant name to like a family or whatnot. But Lane comes from Priscilla, best friend. Lane, but it's spelt Lane, and so it just went to, it went together like Ava Lane. It like went together, Ava Dale. (laughs) If we had a, if my wife and I had a girl, we were going to name her Olivia. Well, I took it. 
And it's good. Yes, we still try. We can still name. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're not going to have any more kids. <laughs> not Olivia Marie Busby, just Olivia yeah. Marie, yeah. I not Dale. Gonna, I was just going to name. I was just going to name her Olivia Busby Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to throw that one in there. Yeah. It's going to be hyphenated. I'm going to put a hyphen. I think you should. Olivia Busbydale. There you go. <laughs> so, who's your favorite kid? This is a safe space. You can nobody's yeah, going to hear this. It is. It's just every okay. And let me explain the question behind this. Everybody has a favorite kid. So I have one child. So he's my favorite. He's also, <laughs> he's also my least favorite. So. And it is a safe space, so which one of your children is a favorite? And if you don't feel like you want to tell us, that's fine, too. We'll just keep asking. (laughs) I honestly don't have a favorite because they are all, like, they literally are all so different, and you love them for, like, their specificness of, like, who they are, even when they're on your nerves or when they're in trouble, because you realize that no matter what, like, they're still my child, and I'm going to love them, even though I'm putting her in timeout, and she wants to make me laugh while well, she's in trouble because that's her or yeah. um, she's not listening because she just ignores you. Nah, nah, nah. you know? <laughs> and then you have some that are like, okay, la la, you know, I mean, they're all different, but I will say, I really do love Gus. <laughs> Gus yeah. My dog. dog? No, her new dog. That's, that's her world now. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. That's my little boo bear. He looks like a little Ewok. <laughs> oh, I love the Ewok. He's a cool little dog. What kind of dog is it? He's a uh, Zushan. He's a Shih Tzu um, Bichon Bichon. mix. Bichon Shih Tzu blend. So we have a Shih Tzu. Uh, He's 16 years old. And one thing to look out for is they like to poop on the floor and then eat it. Mm. Bo does it. Didn't he? Maggie. Oh, Maggie did that. Our dog Kobe's sixteen. He's he's growing. Wait, I thought y'all had a, a big dog, the Saint Bernard. The Saint Bernard too, Ugh. but he doesn't eat his own poop. The other one does. <laughs> Good, <laughs> but we we're too we're big. Conf- we're confident he's going to grow out of it. So at sixteen, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> give him a couple of years, he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll be so blind and deaf he can't even see or smell it. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, jeez. Can't believe. Okay, so your favorite child is Blake. We got that. All right, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, I love my Blakers. <laughs> Blake Blake has the best laugh. I'll give her that. Blake's like, and she laughs at any joke I say, so she's always my, my favorite. Yeah, yeah, she does laugh at everything Dale says. Anything I say, she I'll tell her stuff, she cracks up. So uh, You know what they said the fine. other day? What's that? Like, literally, uh, it was either... Ava or Olivia looked over at one of the other girls. You know, there's a bunch of them. So I sometimes I don't remember who's who, but they said, you're such a jerk. And I go, excuse me. And Riley goes, well, Uncle Dale said that. <laughs> and hey, I'm like, and that is why we don't say that. And I said, if, if jerk is the worst word they say for me, then they're doing all right. Yeah, you're right. Cause I've said way worse. Then my kids tell me, can we listen to Uncle Dale listens to this in his truck? And I'm like, Okay, this song. Not that one. He uses to the one with the bad words. Oh, Aretha Franklin? <laughs> hey, Blake. When I have Blake, Lily, and uh, Mackenzie, they like to go. We would go ride my truck and have a, a dance party and uh, yeah. play it loud. And then I'll shout the words. Blake laughs the whole time. It's the best. <laughs> Cussing in front of kids. Hey. Yeah. I'm not proud of it, but it's fun. Okay? It's fun. <laughs> I'm that uncle. Yeah. Everybody needs it's one. It's Uncle Doofus. That's it. <laughs> uncle Doofus. All right, so it's like dad shoes on. Do what? With like dad shoes on. These are New Balance. <laughs> they are. That's are... my shorts. I got some yellow on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fine, I like your shoes. They match your pants. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Not dad shoes. Uh, they make those women in the men's. They do. <laughs> buy them. They do. These are fourteen in women's. <laughs> I believe it. Do the same thing with. I those. didn't know they still made. Kids. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to open this water when I have to hold a mic the whole time? Then you'll, you know, don't come in here bitching. Golly. <laughs> We're putting you on this show for a favor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Your agent called and asked them, yes. they could, if you could put you on the Dale Not Dale podcast. <laughs> like, we can, we'll work her in. First available. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of agents. If Dale and I had a reality TV show, would you Ooh. watch it? Jeez, um, well, I'd have to because 
I'm related to Dale. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's be it. <laughs> but you're not related to me, so you just you'd be watching because of me. I, I, get it. I mean, Vaughn, you know, it's Dale, not Dale. That's, that's true. That's true. I'm finding my own identity one day, and I feel like it's coming. Oh, man. Uh, it would be funny to see some type of, uh, even just watching the video from this, because people are different when. I mean, not different, but like there is a different level of how like you portray things like when you're a camera's in front of your face versus yeah. it's not. Yeah. Oh, trust me. We are. We got a taste of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't let it affect me. The only time it affected me whenever we had to sit down and do those stupid interviews. Yeah. You're like, where's Dale? <laughs> I was like, like, this is boring. I, I don't know. It was it, was, it wasn't me. And then, Even they knew. They stopped doing it. They were like, okay, we need to do you like on the fly. Yeah. And that's the only way you can get me right. Like when I had to sit down and like really use my brain, they asked me questions. I'm like, <laughs> I can't think. And, and then you decide to get a podcast to I'm sit not, down and, and interview do. people. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is different. I'm just, I'm just talking. Oh, okay, okay. I'm getting asked questions and I'm trying to like think. You know, I'm like you're asking the questions now. Yeah, <laughs> you're not, the you're the facilitator. It's not funny when you got to answer questions about stuff you did. No, oh uh, gosh, I they, know. They know they had to do hours and hours of that. Like. That had to be like one of the worst parts of doing it. Show. It is. What would you name it if we did have a show? Yeah, what would you name it? What are you looking at? Two it? men in deodorant. <laughs> I like it. Two men in deodorant. Two men, one deodorant stick. Two, <laughs> two men, one stick. <laughs> that hey. could probably be sold in many types but of stores. But you can't Google that. You can't. <laughs> no, you can't Google that. Don't Google that. You cannot <laughs> Google that. Kids, don't Google that. It's not a real show. Yeah, it's not, not <laughs> a real show. Me. Don't try. We're not going to cut that out of here, but you don't Google it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I had a question for you, Danielle. So did you ever think when we met in high school that I would be America's favorite uncle to your kids? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, I didn't know how much fourth. I don't know how much foresight you looked into the future thinking like, you know, one day I'm going to have a bunch of kids and this guy will be probably the greatest uncle ever. Yeah, I mean, once I had the quints, I really thought Dell is going to be <laughs> the favorite uncle. So you're saying, well, you know, Nick's bald. No, I, and then no. So you can't, be, you can't, you can't be a good, you can't be a good uncle when you're bald. No, I mean, there's there's something's missing. Uncle Tummy Ache. <laughs> uncle tummy. I'll tell that story later. <laughs> no, I was that's really funny. I was thinking, I was talking about, you know, we met. I was my senior year, your junior year. Yeah, and uh. It was a long time ago. I was like, I think I need to ask her. I just had my 20 year reunion. I know we had this our, past summer right for y'all's. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy though. I was like, you know, it's just funny to think we met that long ago and then. And it, you never thought like, you know, you don't think about that people being in your life that long. No, I know for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I never, never would have thought we would have met at contraband days. <laughs> yeah. I had a Joe Dirt. I had like a mullet wig on. He was like 90 pounds. Yes. Four layers of clothes. Swole. Swole. Oh, I was Swole. Dude, I was and his, hey, I had hey, diamond hey. rings. And, I was, and his name was Nick. I told him I told him a fake name. Why'd you do that? I don't know. Because he's Dale. Yeah. <laughs> it went on for like a while. Then they came to a party in my hometown and they called us Nick and they're like, Who's Nick? They, <laughs> yeah, he made us outsiders. Both, feel real uh connected into the group. They're both four letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, that was uh, that was way off. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago, and then you and then you married my sister. <laughs> I know you could have warned me. <laughs> Completely set you up for that. Well, she said, "Hey, one day we're gonna have a TV show, so maybe you want to marry my sister, be a part of this." So and I was you're like, gonna be the world's greatest. Yeah, uncle. I'll do it. Yeah, this is all part of it. Like, I've been acting this whole twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's not gonna like that. <laughs> she. she, she <laughs> She really fell for it. Thank you for Jeez. helping us. Thank you for helping us get a podcast going, Danielle. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Oh man! Thank you for harvesting all those children for us. We appreciate that. It's funny to talk about that because, like, yeah, you remember I was skinny. I had a. Uh, I wore my pants. So I sagged my pants. I wore diamond earrings. I was a thug, man. And then, yeah, hey, Crystal fell in love with that. So she, I know. That's on her. Yeah. <laughs> she does. She's, she's got a little hood in her. Yeah. She I, does. No yeah, no doubt. That's why they go good together. Yeah. <laughs> we met, uh, yeah, I met her. 
I met you. Before, I met you at a party. I met Crystal at the contraband. Oh, I think. No, the first time it was contraband is then we went to a party. Okay. And it was like a mix of a bunch of different schools. Okay. God, that's a long time ago. Or maybe it was vice versa. I met you at a party and then we saw you at yeah, country. That's, what, that's it what it was. Because that's when I seen, I remember asking Chris Landry. I'm yeah. Like, Who's that girl? Oh, that's one of the Quibidos. And it was Crystal. And I was like, I'm going to marry that girl one day. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like funny to think and look back like that long ago, like the I mean, people we were, that we were and like. No kidding. Jeez. We were 19. I mean, I was 19 when me and Crystal met, but I mean, I was like 17 when me and Danielle met because I was I was 17 when I graduated still. So it's a long time ago. Long time ago. Golly, long time ago. Fucking old, Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not 40 yet. I don't, me neither. Yeah, that's just us too. good. Can I go to y'all's 30 year high school reunion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Dude, it'd be a good time. I'm going to go as um, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what were you saying, Murph? Murphy? 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 Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Murphy. Yeah. Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's funny. Such, that was such a good story. My mom went with it too. I think Dell could. I think y'all should do an episode all just on like, um, since you're not Dell, do you have sleepwalking stories and dreams like that too, or no? Well, he takes Ambien. So I take he... Ambien. Well, yeah. sometimes that makes people crazy. <laughs> well, it makes me like do late night shopping, and yep. like I, I bought rim like Corvette rims. Um, you don't have a Corvette which is yet. cool I don't have a Corvette <laughs> um, getting the small things first but the good news is when I woke up the next day to find out that the order had been processed they were really good looking rims <laughs> I just had to hit cancel <laughs> hey, I've, I've done a few shopping in my sleep uh, I bought a $150 jump rope for CrossFit Christmas, man. <laughs> I don't know how what happened does the rope jump you and you don't jump Dude, the rope it does not help me do dumbbell unders <laughs> <laughs> I got I got rooked. How does how is there a hundred and fifty dollar jump rope? I don't know. It's made out of gold. I bought one. Did you send it back? Don't tell Adam. Okay. He'll go try it. Too. Yeah, I bought three hundred dollars. <laughs> you bought yeah. you bought two. Uh, yeah. No. No. Adam. If you get to know Adam, whatever Adam does, he goes above and beyond. Percent in, and the most expensive way you can go into it. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. Yeah. It's like managing another kid. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You know, the funniest thing about Adam, ever since I mean, I've known Adam for shoot, eighteen years. Yeah, and uh, for like birthdays or whatever, he never gets anything on the birthday. Like he can't wait. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna get this for my birthday." Like he's like four years in advance for presents. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I bought this for my 2026 birthday. Yeah, because he wanted it to say his Ford birthday. <laughs> yeah, he, he, buys, he never he, he buys never his has own a, presents. No, all. All the yes. time, yes. yes. I like but that. he doesn't. He doesn't. His birthday's in June. He'll say this in November. I'm gonna get the. I'll, I'll, this will be for my birthday. But I'm like, but you already had your birthday present <laughs> this year. Oh yeah. Well, it's for like 2028. 20, <laughs> yes, and he's and he's serious. Oh, no, he just, he, oh, just, he's just trying to justify getting justify something. it. Oh, hey, I like that. Hey, would you be looking at something? I'm like, yeah, look at this. Yeah, I should order be here tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's why coming those, in today. That's why I bought those rims. Oh, man. It's coming in today, birthday. dude. Adam's the worst. <laughs> I mean, I like to shop too, but Adam like goes overboard. Yeah. So if you ever want something good, just tell Adam about it, and he'll buy it, and you yeah. can check it out. <laughs> he'll be your consumer <laughs> review on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of Matt, speaking of Adam, how does it feel to be the wife of a sex symbol? It is a true privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> He is a sex symbol. He is. The old buzz. He's looking real ripped lately, too. Lindsay showed me a picture of him. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I would. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Adam here soon, too. So it's going to be funny. You have to ask that same question. No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, oh, I love being married to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, Adam, Adam was, Adam uh, has obviously, like, we've all changed, like, throughout the years. And with men, I feel like men get better looking as they age. And women, like, have to work harder to be and stay in that, like. Botox parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new, new eye cream. Yeah. Just, I'm it's weird. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not a female. Have you ever been to a Botox party? To a. 
No, not like where you go to someone's house and I went to one when I was 15 and it was the weirdest thing ever. I mean, you literally, it's, you walk around and there's a doctor there that is just like injecting you with Botox. That's weird. I mean, I didn't. What else are you supposed to do at the Botox party? Well, you would think you would have some wine or something. <laughs> but oh no. Well, I didn't get anything done. I was just there. You would think you'd have some wine. I thought you had to with your modeling. Oh no. No, I'm born perfect. I didn't need that. Oh, hey, I, there's one thing I want to talk about. You told me not to oh. embarrass you, but <laughs> we, he asked about this yesterday. I was like, okay, we need to ask Danielle about her Ava Levine stage. <laughs> oh, I was, I, I literally was like, if that word doesn't come up in this podcast, I will be happy. Well, he said, did Danielle wear Jinkos? I'm like, well, yeah. No, I didn't. You wore baggy jeans. You they wore, were Hurley. Uh, but Jink- steel. Yeah, the Jinkos. Hurley's short for Jinkos. It is. <laughs> it's Spanish. Yeah, it's Sp- yeah. <laughs> Spanish word for Jinkos. I swear I never wore Jinkos. I couldn't afford them. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> but yeah, Dan- Danielle at one point was, uh, she wanted a skater boy. And hey. she thought she was Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you like, did you like Avril Lavigne, like her music? Or was it just like the, let's make sure. Let, let's good. just, let's just be clear. I did like Avril Lavigne when she came out. I liked her music. I was like, I was like in the punky stage of my coolness and I never, never wore Jinkos and I never wore a tie. I did for Halloween when we dressed up. That wasn't Halloween. I got <laughs> That was just a Thursday. <laughs> we dressed up as that. Because I don't have black right? eyeliner on yeah. to be like what was Derek his name? Whitley. Derek, yeah, when she was married to him. That, hey, that was drink. that. I got you a drink behind you. Have you tried one of these yet? No, but Watch I can't. Drinks. Dude, I would be up to all okay. night. Give her, give her, a, give her a least, whirl. You gotta at least take a sip of Rooney. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I can't drink a whole one right now, but I, I like to sip on them. That's sugar free. I know you're. I know you're watching your carbs right now. I saw it right there. Look on his can. It says sugar free. I was like, okay, I'll try. <laughs> uh, but Cheers yeah, so to night Av- shopping. So Avril Lavigne. <laughs> That was a. Uh, it was funny. Oh man, I gave her. I, well, I used to call you that. I used to call you Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice, yeah. <laughs> That's two actually very different people, but yeah. I know, but <laughs> I yeah. never got Posh Spice. I'm still working my way up to that one. I know. <laughs> I'll never be there. My favorite thing to also do is when we would go to, uh, when we would, like go to the mall, they'd be shopping, and I'd like grab something. From oh my! Them. I literally just told Charlie that story Plus the other size. day. And I put it in front of Daniel like I'm like I'm holding up a cord. Like, like. <laughs> no, no, my this is the worst. We would when um in Lake Charles, like the mall is like small. And so when I got dealers and stuff like the shoe section, like everybody loves them some shoes. And the shoes was right next to the lingerie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I would always tell Adam and because De- we'd always like go to the mall, go shop, whatever. And like the four of us and or whoever was around in Adam and Dell. Would always grab like Dell would always grab like the largest pair of granny panty see through sexy underwear that no granny panty needs to be that size and like be like here <laughs> this is perfect for you and we laugh but then Adam and Dell would grab it like from the crotch Adam and I'm like that. and I'm like <laughs> and then you'd go like this Ugh. oh God. <laughs> It looks like a parachute with two holes in it. Oh, oh my God. So we literally just told Charlie that story the other oh, day when man. we were, um, I was with Ashley the other day, Ashley and Charlie and Lily, we were looking for swimsuits for the girls <laughs> yeah. and they came up there and we met, we ran into them and I did the same thing to Charlie. And he's like, what? No, no. <laughs> it's funny, man. So yeah, gross. I've done, like, I've done that for years. Every time. Every time. Every time. We so we don't go store. shopping anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only go to shoe stores. Oh man. <laughs> So you still shop at Gadzooks? <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying. She's bought her new Big Johnson shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I remember that. Did I thought that was, Is that a store? Remember Gadzooks, Gadzooks in the mall? Yeah. That had all the punk rock stuff, Doc Martens and all the stuff. And then you can go like right across Peace, the way. And Peace was, Frog shirts. You can go right across Peace the way Frogs, and get yeah. you an Avril Lavigne CD at the... Sound Shop. Sound, Sound yeah. Shop. Sam Goody. Sam, Sam Goody, Goody yeah. Sam Goody, yeah. Uh, memories, yeah, memories, memories. Mind. I was about to say something about Gadzooks. <laughs> no, it was something I don't even remember. I wasn't that Avril Lavigne, but it's been a joke for years. I did like Avril Lavigne then. So much so, she bought a guitar and she started learning Avril Lavigne songs. I figured. Don't lie. 
You did? I did buy a guitar. <laughs> she goes, I was a skater. <laughs> she knew the first three chords. Did you? I did. I used to love to play you the guitar. Was a boy, and I was a girl. <laughs> that is She actually, speaking of Avalon, I think she just came out with so- a new song recently. Travis Parker produced her new album. Oh, yeah. Travis Parker produces, it seems like, everybody's album. Or he's on everybody's album. Like, if somebody needs a drummer, boom, Travis Parker just yeah, drops yeah. him out of the sky. He's like the Jesus of drums. <laughs> uh, oh, Danielle, so remember, uh, hey, Vaughn, so whenever I met Danielle, we actually lived, me and my buddies lived in a house. No, oh, jeez. I mean, I was 17 when I moved out of my house, and we lived in this house in Lake Charles whenever Danielle and them would come over there, and uh, this thing was gross. Disgusting. We didn't, have a, we didn't have an oven door. They didn't know how to use a trash can it was the dirtiest house or ever. water. How do you not have an oven door? What are you? Because my dad was a landlord. He didn't care about us. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't care. Yeah. I can't even believe we, we would go over to that house. There was like four four of y'all that lived in four that guys, house. Four plus, or five. Plus whoever slept on the floor of the couch. Yeah. Uh, Disgusting. It was, all we did was all we did was play Grand Theft Auto all day long. Oh. And I watched my videos of NSYNC dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and ate ramen noodles and left them ate ramen noodles <laughs> oh, bandy weenies man. yeah that was a fun house though that was a fun house but it was so disgusting that was when danielle worked at a uh, cupcake shop and she would bring all the extra cupcakes to the, <laughs> to the house oh, we'd have shoeboxes full of cupcakes all over <laughs> yeah I, I just i don't it's it's funny how people like you know you're not you're not living in filth now you're not disgusting anymore but it's funny how like when you hear about these people, like they when they're growing up, they how they lived with people and they're like it everything's nasty and then in their adult life they're you know, some semi clean. You're semi clean now, so congrats. Yeah, I don't like Crystal loves to clean and I like stuff clean, but I'm not a cleaner. No, Crystal doesn't love to clean. Crystal is obsessed with cleaning. Like she's, got, she's gotten a little lazy lately, I'll give her that. <laughs> she needs to clean it up a little That bit. means you need to invite us over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, She'll no. be like, Parker, are you done eating? She'll be picking her bowl up and already cleaning. I'm like, she's still eating. Yeah, she walks around the kids while they're eating at the house. She's like, don't drop Clean anything up. on the floor. <laughs> I like that. No, do you know the story about the day we were out somewhere and Crystal said she dropped something and she like picked her napkin up, but like wiped the floor. She's like, oh, the floor is dirty. I'm like, duh, we're like in a pub. Like, like who, who drops their napkin and wipes the floor to see how dirty the floor is? She goes, I do. <laughs> I'm like, nobody does it. She's like, yes, who does it? And nobody, nobody was like, no. Like, that's how weird she is about cleaning. Like, if you drop your napkin, if you go to Dale's house and drop your napkin, next time you there, like, wipe her floor yeah. with your napkin that you dropped to see how dirty her floor is. Uh, I'm, next time I come over, Dale, I'm going to bring a whole bunch of cleaning stuff. <laughs> and then and then when Crystal asks, I'll be like, yeah, I'm just here because, you know, I just want to make sure it's clean. <laughs> yeah, oh, she, yeah, she'll probably start cleaning right then. <laughs> yeah. She loves it. It's funny. She won't get, let other people clean her house, though. You think we should have the game? I think, I mean, I think we should. And, this, you know, this, was, this was Vaughn's idea, then it kind of spawned into something more. Okay. And then I am and I just realized I'm sitting next to Danielle. She probably read part of my notes. So she I read them all. Cheater. She probably, have a, she probably cheated. <laughs> but we're going to roll with it. Okay, let's go. All right, Danielle. Here it is. We are going to do a spelling bee. <laughs> you and versus you versus Lily and Kiki. Okay. You versus your sisters. Okay. And we're only going to have one word because we feel that one of you is going to get it wrong, if not all three. Perhaps. Great. But w- I mean, what if two of them get it right? Then we'll have a like. Then we'll have a. We'll then move on to the next bracket. We'll have a spell off. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is we pre prepared these words, and it's only one word because that's how much faith we have. Yeah. <laughs> We, well, I was googling it, yesterday. I was googling like tough words, and I was like, "That's a good word. Maybe that'll be the one." Jeez, dude, I don't know how to spell either. I, I know I, some, I, I they're the worst all the time. What's the point? Them three I, texting is the worst. I like even like when I put on my blog, people are like, "Will email and be like, you have a lot of grammar errors." I'm like, "That's just because I type like I talk. Like I just go. <laughs> like, I, I read your blog, and it, it, it I read sounds it just like, like, like you talk, and so it makes yeah. it flows. But that's how that's how you talk. We ready for the first word? You said one it's word. It's the only word. <laughs> uh, are you ready? If you need it in a sentence, you can do that. I'll tell you the sentence in the right. origin. In the origin. The word is baloney. 
Gross. I hate bologna. That is an incorrect answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dale, can you use bologna in a sentence, please? Yeah. Um, so, the state of origin is Delaware, mm-hmm. I believe. <laughs> I thought it was from Barcelona. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sentence for the word is, oh man, that's bologna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know exactly what word to spell now. Okay, so it's obviously a verb. Okay. <laughs> she's spelling on her knee right now. Yep. Oh, they're they're gonna be able to see it. Yep. She's just spelling. No, it's under this frame. He said the frame is here. I'm right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Actually, okay. I don't know where the frame sits, but usually Adam <laughs> tells me those things beforehand. <laughs> Adam's not here to save you on this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Ba b a. Okay. There's still more to the word. Come on, it's a lot of pressure. L. If Crystal gets this I'm right, to, you get this wrong. This is gonna be. They can't listen to this before you go. They won't. They won't. They're not going to know. Okay. Because we're going to we're going to film them doing this live and then crop it in. Okay. We think we can do that. We're going to talk to the media guy. L O N N I. B A L O N N I. That was your that was your final answer. Is that your final answer? I E, baloney. B O, B A. No, she's got to spell it. L O N N I E. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Baloney. That is not correct, Danielle. <laughs> I, I think I think L L. I think now we need to get just to see if they all get it wrong. Who oh, was the Who was the oh, most like, wrong? <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. That's Hello? how you spell it. <laughs> yeah. Can I say it's more like bolognese? Bologna? It's more like bol- bolognese, it's like it's a. Like Bolognese. Bolognese sauce is kind of like That's bolognese. why you spell bologna. Bologna. Yeah. Bologna. Bologna. You like bologna? You don't like bologna? I can't stand bologna. I don't like spam. You I don't like spam. That was the first thing Adam ever made for me was a spam oh, sandwich. God. And I was like. Like fried spam sandwich? Yes. You I was like, this guy? I know. I love spam. I've never ate it. And the only reason why I like spam it's so disgusting. much is because of Sling Blade. I know. Great movie, by the way. Reckon I'll buy some more of them French fried titers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, of mine. Reckon I whooped a tar out of my. <laughs> you ever watch a movie, Danielle Slingblade? <laughs> Long time ago. So good. It's an amazing movie. So good. Uh, okay, well, Danielle got it wrong. So I have a feeling we're going to go 0 for 3 in this one. But the good news is, Danielle, is you are in first place right now. Wait, do y'all. I know Crystal doesn't grocery shop much, but do y'all eat bologna at your house? No. Okay. No, no. Neither does the Mowbrays. Yeah. Our kids are picker than anybody. I know they're bologna. <laughs> I haven't. I don't think I've had bologna in like 10 years. What is bologna? It's like chicken shins and hips ground up. <laughs> <laughs> and flattened to a tortilla. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Lips and buttholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a bunch of byproducts. I think it's kind of made to a paste or something. Ew. I don't know. I don't eat it either. I don't. I mean, I remember as a kid. I just, I'm like wondering, seeing y'all sit down, going, "What is a a word we can get to spell?" I never would have thought you would have said baloney. Well, because it's an easy word, but it's not easy to spell. Yeah, but I didn't know how to spell it. It's got a silent G in it, but I see it because I go to the store, so I know how to spell it. Mm. But it's a tough English word. It said to spell. Yeah, you know, it took me a long time to learn how to spell the word tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I was telling him, Crystal, so here, here's Crystal when she's texting. No, Crystal hit said. Siri, hit the Siri button. Appreciate. <laughs> and it spells it out and she keeps texting. So she'll do the speech to text on the word she can't spell. <laughs> and they spell a word. <laughs> so she'll be typing you hear her say, say a word. And then she starts <laughs> the word. <laughs> God bless her. It's like what the quints do on their little uh, things. They hold it down and just start Dude, talking to it. Speaking of talking to Siri. Their, her, their girls. Riley. She's like asking Siri questions all the time. Siri and Alexa. Like, I'm trying to think some of... She... Adam's um, told me some of the funny ones that she said, but... She's, she's not like... Some of them are like, oh, uh, tell us a joke. But she'll... Riley will like think of something and be like... Like, why does the Santa Claus come to the chimney and out of door? Like, yeah, that kind of like stuff. Like, that kind like, of stuff. Like, stuff that's like... Alexa, why doesn't Santa come through the front door instead of the chimney? <laughs> yeah. 
You better watch. You better watch out. Alexa I'm like, doesn't Alexa ruin the holiday. Not, not Alexa, turn off. You need to put Next some question. You need to put some parental settings on old Alexa. There, <laughs> Alexa's gonna. No, dude, she's the smart. Like Alexa, does the baby come from your belly button? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like for real. Like she asks, like she'll oh, just. She... We'll be sitting at the dinner table just talking, and she'll just come up with like a random question like that. I'm like, what are you thinking about? I'll tell you what. Those girls, I tell people, people always ask me about them, like how the girls. I'm like, dude, they're bullies. Like to me, they all call me Uncle Doofus. It all started. It and all came from you. No, Charlie from being Charles the jerk. Uncle Doofus. Oh. I know, but they call me Uncle Doofus. Uh, oh, they're mean. I say, if you ever want to get get put yourself in check, go hang around with them. <laughs> they will tell you like the true thing. About they're raw. Them. Oh, dude, they're rough. They got no Hazel, filter. Hazel's the only one that's nice to me. You know, actually, Riley's been nice to me. I think she's playing some kind of angle though. Yeah, she's her. yeah, she's but trying dude, to get something out of that. <laughs> that's what I tell people. I mean, they're fun to be around because they're just there's so many there's so much personality in each of them, and and then we'll like, we'll get them separate sometimes at the house, and then you really get to see how they act, mm-hmm. and it's it's fun because when they're all together, they're all just they're trying to one up each other, or louder and louder, in La La Land. Riley's buttering you up to see if you'll tell her if Santa Claus comes in the front. <laughs> <or not. laughs> Oh, Riley's funny, man. But uh, yeah, that and old Dazel. <laughs> Hazel's my uh my, my partner. You're gonna have Hazel I, on here one day. I think so. People, somebody asked me, "You gonna have Hazel on?" I'm like, yeah, that'd be a good one. We're open she, next week. She'll be sitting there. She went. <laughs> yeah, she go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you can't you hey, even hear her talking. <laughs> Oh, we, hey, we got all this, these electronics. We can make her loud. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, uh, it would be funny, though. Duh. You could have Riley in here. Oh, dude. Riley, you should you, have Riley ask you all questions. She'd be the smartest person in the room <laughs> if she had her <laughs> She says stuff to Crystal like Lily. Lily was the smartest kid I've ever been around until Riley came along. And she's like. They're so much alike, the yeah. of Lily. Like, they're just super. Like, Riley, like, <laughs> Lily, like, 18 months old, was like. Full sentence, asking questions, stuff that you're like, I just never been around kids like that. And then Riley's like, even more advanced, <laughs> I think. It's funny. That's awesome. We make smart children. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Crystal's almost 40. She's about to make a full sentence. <laughs> <laughs> if she spells baloney before Danielle, it's going to. Oh, 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 no. Dude, oh, no. I can't oh, wait. We're going to get an Instagram page. I'm going to have to. Hey, video's going to. I'm getting a video tonight. Okay. I will send you the... And then you have to tell me how it goes before I hear the end yep. of it. But you do know you cannot call either one of them when you leave here. No, you she... don't want to tip them off. No, yeah, yeah. Don't give them a, don't give them a hint. No, I'm she... going to tell them it's pizzeria. <laughs> yeah. <She can't> spell... <laughs> the girls still talk said, about that, too. I said, girls can't spell that. She started spelling it like, it's wrong. She's like, well, we'll call it Uncle Dale's Pizza Place. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember Sup Rise? <laughs> Surprise, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of Kiki-isms that are pretty funny. Mm-hmm. But uh, oh, you had another question at the bottom. Uh, if you were on a deserted island and you had to choose Dale or not Dale for survival, who would you choose and why? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, well, Vaughn, I don't know too much about you. <laughs> That's fair. But well, you, you know do. A lot about Dale, so that helps me out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's probably. <laughs> More damning on I you. might, yeah. I might have to go with not Dale because he has women deodorant. Women deodorant, yeah, there you yeah. Go. That I might have to have that. I, don't, I <laughs> learned electrician. I learned today he can do electrician work. So okay, he's already ahead of me. Maybe, maybe, yeah. That's Adam a, always picks on me about my uh, tool set. Tool set. I mean, because Dell, I can't leave. I can't. I don't know how skills you are skilled you are with like building things i'm a builder well then i'm 100 percent picking you on the island because dell will literally say i don't have to have tools because i have adam and nick in my life i do <laughs> hey uh, every job needs Chris, a manager this, this year <laughs> this year for my birthday nick's like i'm gonna get you some tools he goes I'm why like, i don't need them so he called adam <laughs> i guess he told Adam, hey man let's just go in and i was like they don't want no tools <laughs> I was like, I don't want no tools, dude. I was like, all you're gonna do is come over and use my tools. Yeah, like it's a waste. Just come over and bring your own tools. Yeah, give me some shirts. Not, not too, not too long ago, Dale and I were talking something about needing tools for something, and I was like, yeah, you just use the tools, and then, and I had said something about it, and Dale's reply was, I don't know how to work tools. 
<laughs> and it was like one of those. Like, I get it, man. I get it. I, I don't. Get it. I just don't. I never had to. Yeah, you don't need. I mean, if you don't need to, you don't need to. I mean, I know how to use them. You just don't want to. Yeah. I could build your house, but I don't want to. Your <laughs> <laughs> no, because I mean, you don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. No one wants you to build a house. <laughs> How many days does it take to build a house? Yeah. One. You just got to get them to do it. Really I mean, we watched that uh, Netflix series Alone. And I've heard, I've heard people talking about I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, and so it's like, you want someone who knows how to do something. <laughs> yeah, I would not... be terrible on that. Naked and afraid, I'd be terrible. Yeah. I like being barefooted. <laughs> I, no, I, I honestly, I was, so my wife and I watched that show religiously. I literally can tell you right now, I would absolutely not get anywhere because of being barefoot. <laughs> I mean, that's it. And I hate snakes. The oh. snakes, the snakes part would bother me, but it's the barefoot. I cannot do barefoot. I don't even. I'm go... a sock person. I like socks. I mean, I, like yeah, I only socks. not, I only not have socks on whenever I'm in bed, and then I put them back on if I want to walk to the restroom. I put my UGG slippers on. UGG slippers. Yeah. Like Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> and I wore a men deodorant. Okay. I'm well, up to you. Well, you keep on with those yellow stains, and I'll be rocking out with my secret. <laughs> yep. <laughs> smells good. It's clinical strength. <laughs> All right, man. I think we're there to the point. So, Danielle, I know y'all put out people. I, I still get asked this all the time about the show. I tell people they put a statement out. It's kind of one of those things. It's I tell people we're in a long break because, like I said, it's all because people ask me all the time. I'm like, oh, it's not up to me. If they don't have a show, then I'm not on a show. So, <laughs> whatever they decide, like, I'll, go talk I'll, to Dell. <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm like, hey, I need some more airtime. Like, I want to be on TV. Uh, but I get it. They're not in my house all the time. But I know they're people always ask, so I, right. you can tell them whatever you want to say. But I, I just tell people we're on a break, so. Yeah, I mean, it was six years of that life and from having the quints and learning how to be a family of eight came with having a TV show as well. Um, And there was lots of ups and downs and just a life of that's all we knew since we've been a family of eight. And so we got to a point where we just needed to just take some time to like reconnect and like the kids started like school. And so things were just getting challenging. I mean, like even when they were going through diaper stages and like crawling and all that, like all that was hard, but it was all, they were all together. Like now as they're getting older, they're all kind of going their own ways. And now that they're in school Monday through Friday, like filming was hard. It was like, yeah. it was just challenging to, to get content, to get content day, and, yeah. and they, they're not around. And so it just was like, you know, let's finish this season. And then COVID, well then COVID happened right. and that made everything extremely challenging to just finish that season. Um, we had to do a lot of stuff just like ourselves yeah, Adam, at Adam home and Adam filmed a lot of it. Um, so I think, you know, COVID changed a lot for a lot of people, but in that time where we were kind of going through a transition of like, you know, how are we supposed to film? And then COVID happened. Um, and so we were just like, we just need some time. We need some time. We don't know what is next, what, if and when cameras will come back. Um, I think our answer is we're not a yes or a no at this point. We just are just kind of just trying to take it on to like what it is now. And like, you know, I mean, we've, we've, this is the first summer in a long time or first seasons of our life that we've only been just us without constant people around us. And we always have people around us because we're always with family and friends and whatnot. But just those 30 people that stay around you every day um, for all those years, they were family to us. So it, it does, it is hard to not be connected and see them and, you know, they're family to us. Um, but the girls still talk about filming and we uh, still talk to our well, people and yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they still make up the silly jokes and stuff that they know. And so um, we talk about it. Uh, we just don't have a set like day of like, Hey, when do we want to get back into this? And so one day, I know it just, gets a lot. I mean, it, it, it got a lot. And then we even just, got a we lot. Were just, we were just support staff, you know, as far as the show, we were just, yeah. Yeah. The family part of it. Uh, and it got a lot for us sometimes. I can, I mean, I can yeah. imagine for you guys, but yeah. uh, but like I said, I told you that we had 
it's been it was a blast we the trips and yeah i mean there was so much experience yeah it was awesome there's a lot of good that came from it um and i am am definitely like like pretty raw when it comes to just like kind of like sharing or being who i am and um i i don't like I guess it's it's it was a lot of fun just being like us and like when we were all together and the fam was yeah, all together. It just because that was just normal. Like even when it all started, I was like, no one wants to watch the show. It's just us. Like, yeah, they, I know we have in, a uniqueness. Yeah, <laughs> there is a uniqueness <laughs> around having the first all girl Quince in America. Uh, but like, what do they want to watch with us? You know, and so um, that's what the, the fun part was. The girls was totally you. You, you just got what you got. Yeah, and so now they're at a fun. now they're at an age where like they love like the GoPros. They love the cameras, and um, they love to be silly and do their own thing. And so. I don't know. We're kind of talking about like, how do we incorporate that or how could we, you know, do a season or a special or like whatever it might be of something that could be next for Out Daughtered. But there you have it, folks. The girls are filming next season. (laughs) (laughs) Half of it's on the floor and you can barely hear Hazel. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. I guess we can get to the part now. We can. The. Ask Danielle, who's your celebrity doppelganger? Not you. Who's your not you? Who's your not you? Oh. And we have, so we've been doing that. We did a Cajun Ninja. So we're oh, yeah. I heard that. Since we have our, we're each other's doppelganger. Okay. We're going to ask, and we have one pick for you. Oh, really? And sort of see who you, who have you been told? I know, I, I'm sure you've been, people told you online or you've heard. Celebrity wise, like, I don't know. Like I'm Roseanne like. Bar. <laughs> Man, you just ruined the stretch, man. Ricky Lake. <laughs> wow. wow we're, we're... Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> right, little, I'll, I'll see that one. Honestly, I don't know if anybody's ever told. I've I have seen people will even like send me pictures and stuff. Like, oh my god, you look just like my friend or whatever. I'm like, holy cow, this look look like look like me. Yeah. But as far as celebrity, ever, I used to get uh, Claire Danes. Okay. Uh, it was like my nose or something that, a little bit, but she was is better. Though. Speaking of Claire Danes, I just watched the uh, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet with her and uh, Leo. Oh, that's a good movie. Why'd you watch that? I, I, I like that movie. <laughs> He's a hopeless romantic. I was a Shakespeare fan. Though. I really was. <laughs> little little fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Yep. Leonardo DiCaprio is my favorite actor. So I guess we can tell what what ours. Uh, was. Yeah. What? What? Like, who's your doppelganger besides each other? Because neither I've one. I've told Blake Shelton, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I see that one. I've, I've been told a few of those. The okay. guy, the guy from uh, the Extreme Home Makeover at Ty Pennington. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had my hair tall. I've been told uh, Dale. Dale, the Mills. uncle from that. Dale Mills, the Dale world's Mills. greatest uncle. <laughs> um, I, I've been told uh, Prince William. Oh yeah, I've I can see that. that one. I've been told that one. Uh, John Paul Gosser, 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 from uh, Saved by the Bell. Is it John Paul? Yeah, Mark Paul. Mark Paul. Yeah, Mark Paul John Paul's the Zach. Paul. Zach Morse. Yeah, I don't see and then, Zach. And then uh, Alec Baldwin. We both been. Yeah, that one. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> but like a good looking Alec Baldwin. Yeah, not the not the as of late like the early <laughs> Alec Baldwin. No, ours for you was uh, Julia Stiles. Yes. Julia Stiles. Oh, do you remember? Her? Yeah, she, you look like her. I mean, it's a, it's a. I feel like I'm gonna pull this up because pull it up. Pull I, showed, it up. I told, I told that to Kenzie. I showed her. She goes, "Oh yeah, I see that." I don't see that. You don't I see don't, that? I never can type on my phone. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see how it looked like her. She's from. Um, and you like Billy Blanks from P ninety X. We top top both. <laughs> The 10 Things I Hate About You. I used to love that show. That's a great movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a great movie. I mean, a little bit. It's just like this part. Maybe you look like Heath Ledger. I confused him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's who I thought. I, th- I think. Maybe I, we'll, I ask, think it, we'll ask Buzz. I think so. You do look like her. I think you look like her. I mean, it's I pretty, can see a little bit. They're not identical twins, but. I mean, she's she's older than me, so I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm older than Vaughn. Yeah, he is. Whole year. 
Oh, he's my age? Look at his birthday present I got him. Calculator watch? He wanted this one. He's he been talking about one for the past year, so I bought him one. <laughs> and he, he, I think he thought I was kidding. Like, like I really did want a calculator watch. Why? This is freaking awesome, man. <laughs> he does the taxes on it. <laughs> yeah. And he, he, he got it for me, and I was just like, I mean, it's one of the... Did you have to get a stylus to be able to push the buttons? Oh, yeah. You, you, I have little fingers, so I can, I'm can. i able to push the buttons. And then, <laughs> calculator when I, watch. When I fir- when I Good first thing you're out of school because it would be illegal to bring your calculator watch in. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I'd have this in school, though, for sure. And then I'd get you know, 100, and the teacher would be like, huh, something's not adding up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, Danielle, I'm glad you were uh, you, you you were brave enough to come on the show. Came on your first filmed podcast, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Second yeah. filmed. We've we've got you down for some more podcasts to join us. Oh, yep. We're gonna get Adam on here too. We can. Uh, I have to get some really good questions for him. We got a lot of sco- I got a lot of dirt on Adam, so. Yeah, vice versa. I know. <laughs> yeah. But hey, you know I don't care about you talking about me. He, he's more <laughs> self-conscious than I am about that. Yeah, I don't get I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you coming. Thanks. Been, you know, hopefully. this is my first live podcast. Is, your, is this your your favorite? Is this your favorite? I saved my. Live podcast? I sa- that is what I provision like provision provision Pre- envisioned. Whatever provision is Envi- good too. You just, <laughs> roll it, just roll it. Spell just it. Roll it. In. Spell it in you. Know? Yeah. <laughs> B O L O G N A. Um, not the uh, like uh, America's favorite uncle. It was one day I'm going to do a live podcast and I'm going to save it for Dell Not Dell. There you go. I don't know who Not Dell is, but one day we I'm going to say my first live. I'm here. <laughs> we found him. So I knew this was going to happen too, and that's why I was saving you to be our first live podcast. E. That's it. Got it. Podcaster and podcast E. Yep. Well, it was meant to be, guys. Yep. Well, good. <laughs> Appreciate you coming on. I know you got a gaggle full of kids back home. I know Adam's texting Adam me crazy. going, What's for dinner? <laughs> Dell brought leftover spaghetti and <laughs> yeah, meatballs. Yeah, spaghetti. I literally was but like, I'm a, bringing spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. You got podcasts and dinner. <laughs> Julia Styles is heading back home to <laughs> feed you uh, <laughs> the spaghetti and meatballs. I'll have to ask Adam what he thinks your uh, doppelganger is. I have to think about that too. So, uh, somebody, there was somebody, somebody else with like dark hair, but I don't know who it was. It wasn't I'll like a, Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton, you kind of look like Kate Middleton. I'll too. take that. I thought that was the one I thought of. I think too. she's Julia Styles. Is that's a compliment? She's yeah. I just don't think I look like her. Oh, Kate Middleton. I think she's gorgeous. What's well, our podcast? And we think you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get your own if you want to say something. Else. Yeah, get your own. yeah, you get your own. Mine's been in the work for like four years. Well, that's what Adam said. He told like when I was the first night I was there. Uh, because, you know, it's producing. just exactly what you said. He's like, yeah, we were going to start a part of podcast uh, years ago. Yep. So he's had all this stuff. Yeah. And, the fanciest stuff you can buy. Of course. Yeah. And I was like, w- w- what are we doing a podcast? He's got a full Joe Rogan experience <laughs> set up. <Yeah. laughs> y'all know what y'all are going to name it? Uh, yep. You can't say. All right, we're going to trademark it. Yeah. <laughs> he, told us, he told us already. Remember? <laughs> he did. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I don't either. But it's I. I know that I wrote it down. <laughs> then that's a think, problem because then we need to change it. I think my name was in it. <laughs> uh, it was, yeah, my attorney's already looking over to yep. copyright it. Yep. But uh, well, good, Danny. I Thanks. appreciate you. Yeah, I do too. We'll send you Thanks. home with some spaghetti, and meatballs for the kids. Nice. I like to. Oh, I'm not sharing. I'm I just for me. <laughs> yeah, Dude, awesome. hey man, I might be able to. I, you would be able to eat good me on a deserted island though. That is true. But well, you'd you wouldn't. Have, you'd have to hunt for it, though. That's you'd have to hunt, and then I can hunt. Oh, well. Can rub two sticks together too. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could cook anything, dude. Uh, yeah, you can cook. But he said he cooks. I mean, I can he cook. Grills. That's not cooking. Yeah, I can. Well, it, but that's all you need on an island. You got to start a fire. No on an island. There's no yeah. fire pits on an island either. I'll build one. Not gas. My beer. I don't need. <laughs> I don't use gas. There's no pellet cookers there. <laughs> need a pellet cooker i just need to open fire <laughs> yep well i think that'll wrap it up yeah thank you for coming we all right thanks for having me on guys time. i hope uh we didn't have any technical difficulties with this setup but we should figure it out wow 
Bye. We'll, we'll give it to people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to people that'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to sleep good tonight, but Jason's over there sweating. I can see it in his eyes like, oh, no, how are we going to do this? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We might have to, yeah. We might, to, might do some TV magic. Jason's going to have to We know NASA. some people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, well, that's good, man. We haven't thought of a name for this episode yet, but. We're going to. We're going to figure that out. Maybe we'll call it Not Julia Styles. What would you name it, Daniel? Yeah, what should we name this episode? Bolognese. Bolognese? <laughs> this episode was bologna. <laughs> we're gonna call it baloney yeah all right hey no we're rolling with it episode yeah. three in the books dale Pel- dale not dale podcast baloney there it is don't ask me to spell yeah. <laughs> we'll misspell it in the on the title yeah, yeah. absolutely we're gonna we're spell gonna spell it the it way like, that i spelled yeah. it b-a-l-o-n-n-i-e yeah i wrote it down and then we'll have parentheses <laughs> danielle spelling yeah okay <laughs> That's what we're gonna name. No, it. you should do my spelling, Ashley spelling, and Crystal spelling on the title. Baloney, baloney, baloney. Okay. And then Crystal's gonna spell it pizzeria. Yeah. <laughs> She's been practicing that word for years. Yeah. <laughs> She'll get it. Uh, so all right. Well that that's it. All right, let's roll out. Yep, we are done. Done. Baloney. Rude. Hey. What? Can you spell the word baloney? I don't know because that's not a word I use every day. Try spelling baloney. <laughs> B O L. It's something weird. G. Just put the put the letters together. Trying to think of a bologna packet. Well, give it a go. It. I can't spell it. V O L, or it's B O G H L O I, something like that. I Are you know. serious? I don't know. It's a weird spelling. <laughs> I've known it. It's not set. It so, final answer. Spell your final answer, bologna. B O. L A N I. I have no clue. Have- All right, Kiki. We're playing a game on the Dale Not Dale podcast. It's a spelling bee. Oh, gosh. And it's you versus Danielle versus Ashley. And we've already got Danielle. She's already tried to spell the word. So now it's your turn. You better not be nothing more. <laughs> it's your turn. So the word is baloney. Spell baloney. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. You got it right. <laughs> I did. <Yeah. laughs> All right, perfect. Oh gosh! <laughs> How'd I know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nick's gonna be videoing Ashley here shortly. But, uh, I'll tell you right now, Danielle got it wrong. Oh my gosh! So, All right. <laughs>